Greetings. Today we are going to be working on the engine. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of different work. Uh, in the previous video, you recall that I removed the carburetor and tried to fit this uh, adapter. Uh, I was going to flip it to try to orient the carburetor forward. That didn't work, so then I had to start thinking about alternate solutions. And then I found a uh, what they call an inverted carburetor manifold from... Um, kick-ass carts or something like that. Um, I'll post the link in the video. But basically it's going to put the Makuni um, over the engine. But the problem is, is uh, that the intake is designed for a specific Makuni that doesn't have this um, uh, breather manifold on the bottom. It's offset to the side. In this particular situation, I've got to cut the um, the airbox cover uh, to allow that to sit in, and that should hopefully do the job. Uh, we're also going to uh, remove the oil pressure switch, um, remove the governor uh, internal guts, and also install the higher pressure valve springs or higher rates uh, valve springs to deal with the higher RPM. And potentially, if time works out, I may also install the offset key on the flywheel. That's going to be kind of the last thing. It's not critical, um, but it'll be nice to have if we can. So got a lot of work to do. Let's get to work. Okay, so the uh, air box has been modified. I've had to cut this large hole uh, into it, but the uh, carburetor should fit now. We'll make that on. Uh, one thing before we do, I want to show you the uh, carb to intake spacer. Um, the system came with this spacer here. When you make this uh, spacer up here, um, the diameter of the uh, carburetor outlet's about one inch, and the inlet uh, to the manifold is a little over three quarters of an inch. So as the air comes in, it's going to hit this large step and just kind of get all turbulent and screwy where we want a nice, smooth flow going through the manifold. So I 3D printed this new spacer. 
um, that the OD is designed to mate with the carburetor and then the, the far diameter is um, supposed to mate with the manifold. And then there's a nice kind of sort of conical uh, transition uh, between the two diameters at, at different heights there. So hopefully that works out pretty cool. And we'll print that out of PETG and PETG is, um, is inert to fuel. So it'll be a hundred percent infill. So we don't have to worry about leaking or anything like that. So yeah, let's get to work. There it is, the Makuni carburetor is installed, fits nicely uh, over the engine. The cutout for the airflow shouldn't cause too many issues. Um, and then I also have a hole on the bottom for the other, uh, we'll call it bleed or overthrow line, overflow line um, can come out the air box and it's free and clear of the fan and the magneto in there. Okay, so next step is going to be uh, pull out the flywheel so that we can punch out the um, the governor shaft. So let's get to work. Okay, so here we're going to try to remove the flywheel without screwing anything up. So I got my big heavy hammer, my prying screwdriver, and I'm going to put the nut on as instructed. I'm wedging the screwdriver in behind the flywheel on the block and then I'm just supposed to tap the end of this nut with a bigger screwdriver. Flywheel has been removed. 